Saturday, you guys, or happy whatever day it is that you are watching this video. I am heading to like a little bookish fitness event, I guess you can say. Um, I am heading to my local library because they are doing the do a mile, get a free book. And I wanted to do this event last month but it rained but then it turned around and started being sunny at the time that the event was supposed to start so I kind of missed out because I assumed that it was going to be raining all day and it the sun literally came out and started shining right at the time that the event was starting so I'm excited because I get to attend this time which fits right into my fitness goals for the month of June because my goal this month was to work out every single day this month and close all three of my fitness rings on my Apple Watch this month. And this is the last two days of the month. So it just works perfectly for me. Um, outside of bookish things, I love to work out. I love to go to the gym. I love to work out. Um, I had a baby what, two years ago. So I am trying to pick back up from before I had a baby. Um, I had my son two years ago. He just turned two last month in May. And I am trying to get back in the swing of things fitness wise um, because I love the gym. <laughs> I love the gym. I love healthy eating. I do not do strict diets um, because I'm at the point in my, I wouldn't call it a journey, but in my lifestyle change where I know what I can and cannot eat and I know how to portion control and all of that. So I do not deprive myself from the things that I love. I just know how to eat them, when to eat them, how to eat them, and so forth and so on. I do not do diets. And diets are not my thing. Um, I've been on my health and fitness journey since 2016. It's become a lifestyle change at this point. Like I'm no longer on a fitness journey per se anymore this is just what i do is it's my everyday life so that's why i don't really do like diets and things like that i've never did any specific diet like keto and all of that i just do like i literally just do i love salads i love fruit i love healthy eating anyway and so that's just what i do but i thought it was super cool that i can go work out and get a book. I hope the book selection is good. Um, I'm going to assume that the book selection is the books that they would typically sell. You know how the library have their book carts for sale and stuff like that. So I will assume it's, you know, from that selection, but hopefully I find something good. Um, especially since I'm about to sweat outdoors for it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm excited. I got my gym outfit on. Um, I got my sunscreen on. I got my shades. I've been drinking water. I drink a lot of water. I naturally drink a gallon of water a day. So I'm hydrated and I'm ready to get out in this heat and just do this one mile for this book. Today it is 91 degrees outside so it is already hot and it's 10 08 a.m i don't know what this video is going to entail but um i'm confused <laughs> oh here we go i don't know what this video is gonna entail besides me doing this you've entered the parking lot for your destination Besides doing this walk a mile, run a mile, or do a mile, it's not literally walk or run, it's literally do a mile. So yeah, I'm here and I am parked. Y'all, do y'all's libraries do this kind of stuff? Like do a mile for a book? Um, I've seen my library do it super duper often. I just never been able to attend because either I find out last minute or 
the event has already passed by the time I find out. Um, and usually, because I follow my library on Facebook, so the only way that I really find out about it is if I'm scrolling Facebook, especially if I hadn't been to the library. And as you guys know, I haven't been doing my buddy reads with baby girl at the library because it's summer break and she's not home. Well, she's home currently, temporarily, for like a week or so, but um, my baby girl got summer plans and me and her doing our buddy reads is not part of them so yeah i'm excited i'm about to get ready to go in just to kind of get a feel of what's gonna go on and i'll take you guys with me to do our walk on the inside but as you guys can see they had like drink station set up for everybody who's participating um drinks like water and juice and just little snacks especially for the kids because this event is for teenagers and for adults so i thought that was pretty cool and then like i said the section that they sell of books is the section of books that they are giving away um lots of james patterson over there um so i was just giving it a quick browse that way i can kind of have an idea of what book i might take with me um it's another book over there i forget the name but i've been seeing it at the goodwill bookstore a lot and i might pick that one up because i've been very intrigued by the title and by the cover it's like a silver cover with like red and black writing so super cute I need to put my glasses on because I can't I can see but I can't see enough to be book shopping but yeah I'm about to browse around in the library um I don't really plan on checking anything out because I already have a lot of books that I need to read that's on my TBR but I am going to check this location out to see how it is it's pretty cute in here I love the setup I really love this setup because I've never been in this location before. So yeah, 
It's very different, very cute, very airy. like a five or ten minute walk so I'm probably gonna have to go and hop on a treadmill at the gym just to finish out my workout because that just wasn't enough but I got the book I got a snack I got something to drink so once I get in the car I'm gonna show you guys the book that I picked out um, they actually had two copies of the book so one was a soft back and one was a hard back. And I just decided to get the hard back because it will look cute on my bookshelf. 
especially because of the color. So I'm about to get in the car and I'll show you guys what I got. So I'm back in my car, y'all. It is extremely hot. Like it's hot. So much so that we were gonna do a family trip to the park today and because of the heat advisory, I don't think we should go. And if we do, we need to go later on this evening um, because it's just so hot. But that's summer in the South. Summers in the South don't play. But anyway, let me show y'all. So they gave us snacks and they gave us uh, drinks. So I just picked this up. It's a little waffle, strawberry waffle graham cracker type deal. I'm probably gonna give it to my son so he can eat it. And then I picked up this pineapple juice. And now I'm gonna save this for myself because I've been drinking water all day and I can definitely use some juice while I'm out and about. And then this is the book that I got, um, The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest. Y'all, I've been eyeing this book I've been eyeing this book every single time I go to the Goodwill bookstore, but every time I go to the Goodwill good store, I always see other books that I want, so I always put this one down. So I figured it's free. Go ahead and grab it. Um, like I said, they had the hardback and the paperback. It's thick. It, it's a thick girl. She's a thicky. Like, she's thick. And I went ahead and got the hardback because I just thought it would look cute on my bookshelf. Um, but yeah, this book is girl what are you doing she is over 500 pages she is over 500 pages have y'all read this book let me know in the comments i definitely got to get this target sticker off um but i'm excited that i was able to come and get some steps in and get a free book like the perfect incentive is a free book so why not um so now i'm about to go run some errands and yeah um i'll be back when i'm doing more bookish things i told y'all i was coming back when i was doing something bookish but i hadn't been doing much besides being barbara the builder <laughs> so right now i'm currently um putting together my son's bookshelf um he got it for his birthday in May <laughs> and I'm just now getting around to having some time to do it and I've been doing some stuff around my reading room too rearranging books and um, putting new books in places and I just recorded my June's monthly wrap up so you guys should have already seen that before you see this video, I have a, a new bookshelf that I put together for myself. So I've been doing just that kind of stuff. I hadn't been reading anything um, because I did finish my last book for June uh, yesterday, which is Home is What the Bodies Are by Geneva Rose. And then before that, I finished Whoopi Goldberg's book. So I had, today, I'm not reading. It's Sunday, and I don't feel like reading because I'm starting a new book tomorrow, which is um, my book club's book, the third book in the Housemaid series by Freedom McFadden. So I'm not reading anything today. I'm taking a break from reading today. Um, and just doing some stuff in my reading room that I've been needing to do. My husband moved my couch and stuff over here and moved my desk and stuff over there because I wanted to be closer to the window um, for better lighting for my videos and just so that I can look outside when I'm reading. Um, so now that I have my furniture in my reading room exactly how I want it, um, I am going to start putting like pictures and stuff up on the walls and uh, things like that. So I added some pictures on this wall that I'm looking like looking at right now. Um, 
and I think you guys seen the pictures before like when I first started my booktube channel it was like some sunflower pictures that was behind me above my couch I took those off the wall because I just didn't like where I had them placed and I felt like um where I had my couch I didn't want it which I had moved it from that spot so I've officially moved it to a third spot and I think I love it here best so yeah that's all i'm really doing is getting my reading room together and exactly how i like it rearranging books putting up some decor um i want to go by five below and just pick up some stuff um to add because like i said i just did um my mini my mini bookshelf and i moved one of my little knickknacks from my auto buy author bookshelf and put it on that so now i need to go find something cute and little to just add over there because i don't like the empty space on the side but yeah i'm not really reading today i'm actually thinking about watching um way into excel yep i think that's what i finally want to watch because for some reason i guess because of whatever filming company released the movie it's on disney channel <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and watch that i've been wanting to watch it for a while now um but hadn't hadn't gotten around to it so i think that's what i'm gonna do watch that and then i want to do some coloring too i want to do some coloring today so i'm gonna pull out some like markers and color pencils and color i have this sunflower photo that I've been wanting to color, so I'm probably gonna do that. So not much um, bookish, well, bookish related things, but no books um, because I finished everything already yesterday. So I'm just chilling and getting my space how I want it because I want the vibe in here to be super cozy. Um, my couch lets out like a bed. So most of the time when I'm in here just like chilling and reading, I pull the bed out. So um, yeah, I just want this space to be super cozy and cute. And I'm officially at the point where I wanna start adding um, stuff to the wall. Now above my my auto buy author bookshelf i'm putting the tv there so i'm not going to put any pictures or anything there it's just going to be um blank until i get a tv to put in that spot but other than that i'm ready to put stuff on the walls and i'm just so excited nothing bookish um i just wanted to really come and finish out the vlog because i did not want to leave y'all hanging after i did that um now for a book yesterday i told you next time i do some bookish i'll be back but i hadn't really did anything like yesterday i did finish the book but i didn't really want to talk about it here because i think i talked about it in my june reading wrap up and then i talked about it in a previous vlog so i didn't want to be super repetitive on what i'm talking about but what do you guys do when y'all don't read i know a lot of people go through reading slumps and i'm not necessarily in a reading slump it's the last day of june so i didn't want to um pick up a new book today i just pick up one on tomorrow since it's the first but what do you guys like to do outside of bookish things do you like to color do you watch tv do you watch movies do you have a favorite series that you like to watch um do you guys i didn't touch the grass <laughs> we were gonna go outside yesterday but i told y'all it was a heating advisory here so the heat index was 104 and my husband was not gonna take our kids outside and that heat it was just too hot so much so that i mean it was just hot in the car even with ac so i was just like no nah, we're not gonna do that at all but y'all let me know what y'all do in your downtime when you just don't feel like reading or you're taking a break from reading before you start another book um do you give yourself days in between books before you start a new book or do you start one immediately um i guess i could show y'all what this little bookshelf look like since i'm finished being barbara the builder 
so this is his little bookshelf and i'm going to put it in his room but he has tons of books that i need to get out of my room i'm about to grab some and show y'all some of the books that he does have so he had got a lot of books for like his birthday and he loves bluey so he got this one which i thought was super cute um that one that one and then um i have him signed up for books from birth i don't it's a dolly parton um little uh organization where it's called imagination imagination library so he gets a free book every month and these are just some of the books that he has gotten and he has tons of books and my daughter was also part of this organization or was getting free books as well so between all of the books that she got and then all of the books that he's getting we can pretty much fill this bookshelf up like see here's the logo we could pretty much fill this bookshelf up and then he has some personalized books that he had gotten for Christmas. And so I just want to go ahead and um, display his books because he has tons. I'm not going to put all of them on there because he is just a toddler and he will definitely be toddling and tear them down but i do want to have some of his favorites on display this is the most recent one he got which i thought was super cute for the summer super de duper cute and we're potty training so this is his favorite one right now so i'm definitely gonna get it put up on his shelf now i told you guys i wanted to color so i'm going to color this picture here and I'm probably gonna frame it and go ahead and put it on my wall. It's just one of my decor pieces. I thought it was super cute. Somebody had printed a whole bunch of these out at work and I took one. Cause I was like, duh, I love sunflowers. So I'm gonna get that colored today. I'm probably, I'm, I'm actually gonna do this right now. I really wanna do this right now while the kid is sleeping.